Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Danielle. Subscribe down below for news videos every Wednesday and Sunday. Today, I'm going to be talking about my March favorites because yet again, another month has passed at the blink of an eye. That was me trying to blink. I don't need to wink, I just, all right. That was weird. I love doing favorites videos. I love watching them. I love hearing what people have to say. I have some products, some I've talked about before in like my vlogs and stuff, but these are just things that I've been loving this month that I want to talk to you guys about. I will have everything linked down below per usual. But yeah, there's not really much to say. Just, I just want to talk about some things I'm loving. I have some fashion, beauty, fashion and beauty. That's what we got, and some music and some other fun stuff. First off, I wanna talk about this perfume. This is Beach Walk by Replica. I love this perfume line just because like their whole, it's by Mason Margiela, but it's like the replica line or whatever. So I love this because if you go to like, I get this at Nordstrom. If you go to Nordstrom or other department stores, or they actually sell it at Sephora, you can see all their different um, perfumes in this replica line. They're basically trying to replicate certain scents. So this one, see how it's like got a whole description. This one's trying to describe originally Beach Walk um, in Calvi in 1972. Fragrance description, sun-kissed, salty skin, style description, female fragrance. Um, so that's what they have on all of these. For Christmas or birthday one year, I got my mom the Jazz Club one because she loved that. There's one for men called like At the Barber Shop. There are so many different scents. Like I really wanna try them all. There's one called like Music Festival. Like I don't know why, but I love their branding of it all. I'll have it linked down below, but it smells amazing. And the reason I wanted to include it in today's video actually happened Today, I wear this perfume every day. I spray it on every day. I have another perfume that I use at night that I'll talk about another time. Um, it's by the brand Byredo or Byredo. Um, I think it's like Rose Noir. I feel like I should just say it. Um, but I was thinking today, I was like, it's so annoying how like we spray on perfume every day or body mist or whatever, and we don't smell it, but like other people do. And you only know because every now and then people will be like, wow, you smell so good. And like, I don't know why, but recently people have been telling me I smell good. And I'm like, wow, like, I don't, like, I, 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 this sounds so weird, but I don't, like, once I spray it on in the morning, yes, you smell it, but then you go on the rest of your day, and I just assume it's gone, but, like, you actually do have a scent, and people smell it, people aren't always going to acknowledge it, but my friend Isabella the other day was like, do you know, you always smell the same every day, it's so good, like, what is that, and I was like, oh, well, I spray this perfume on every day, and I just didn't realize, like, maybe that's my scent to people, like, I don't know, I just thought it was really cool, and then today, I got in my Uber, and the guy was like, wow, like, you smell amazing, what is that, and I just forget that, like, I don't know, it's so annoying though how you spray perfume on and you spend money on perfume and like you don't necessarily smell it But like other people do you know what I mean? It's not fair. So yeah, and I told him I was like and he was like What is it called like I'm gonna buy this for my wife? I want her to smell like this. I was like wow I'm honored That's kind of creepy, but also honored so I told him beach walk by replica um, I believe the Kardashians talked about this or I, I found out about this somehow I think it was Kim Kardashian. This used to be her favorite perfume. I doubt it is anymore, but See, I smell it right now. It smells really good. I don't know how to describe it other than it does smell a little beachy, but it's not like like I wear it all year round. It's nothing like that by any means. On to the next. We have this hat. I can't remember if I've talked about this before, but this is just a black Nike like dry fit hat. I wear this sometimes to work out with like a ponytail if I just I'm not in the mood to just like I just, sometimes I'm just not in the mood to like see people or I'm just like I don't know, I'm in my vibe or I just don't like how I look, so I just wear a hat. But also, and then I'll wash it after a workout. But then I also wore it to class the other day. I don't know, sometimes when I'm having a bad hair day, this hat just does it for me. I think as it, cause it's like the dry fit material, I just love how it like snugs my head and just, I, I, I purposely do this, you know, and people will sit there and like, I make sure my, my bill is very, I don't know, narrow. I just love this hat so much. It's just, it's so sleek. It looks great with outfits. If you wanna go for like an athletic chic vibe, I really, really like it. It does wonders, especially on bad hair days. I really should have worn it today. I'm having a bad hair day. I'm just not sure how to deal with my hair these days. Like some days I'm like, oh, side part. I know I've touched my hair a thousand times in this video. I know, sorry. And the other days I'm like, oh, middle part. But then other days, hat with a ponytail. Love this hat. Speaking of hair, I've been really into the like textured curly look lately. So what I'll do is I'll just do some really loose waves either with like a, I think it's a one and a half inch curling barrel I have, I'm not sure. And I think I have a video on it, but I'll literally just curl it and like leave the end out so it kind of gives like that just bent look. And then I'll use this Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast after. I use hairspray as well. 
And then after the hairspray, I use this. It's just like a texturing spray, and it really works. You just kind of, I'll like spray it up kind of, and just kind of like scrunch my hair with it, and it works so well. This says, section and spray roots to ends, tossel to boost volume. Oh, well, I don't do that. But I really like how it works. I just curl my hair and I just kind of spray up and just kind of, well, I do tossel it. And it just looks really good. And it instantly, like, if your curls look too structured, just spray this. And it instantly just, boom, makes it look beachy and, like, chill. It's officially spring. And, like, doesn't that mean we can finally wear white again? There was, like, a rule. I don't really know. Like, white pants, I know. But anyways, these white boots I have been wearing nonstop. They are so cute. And they're great because they're this, like, I don't know what this material is. But I can just use Clorox wipe. Clorox wipes if they get dirty and just wipe them off um, any like bad material or like bad Residue on these shoes, but they are so cute and they're so comfortable. I actually got them on nasty gal I'll have them linked down below I hope they're still on nasty gal because they're so darn cute They just zip in the back they have thick heels So they're not uncomfortable and they're like slightly pointed which I like they're very very flattering I've been wearing these with like sundresses or even just jeans or some flare um, flare pants these look great, and they're just going to be such a spring staple for me. I'm bringing them with me to Coachella for sure. My luggage to Coachella is going to be on another planet, I'm telling you. Also, I feel like I'm going to get questions. This shirt is from Wild Fox, I believe. It's just like a short sleeve shirt with like stars on it. I can finally wear short sleeves because it's finally starting to be nice out. Sorry this lighting is kind of weird by the way. Sorry. I'm trying to like go between like beauty and fashion as you guys can tell. So this is definitely my number one favorite. I am pretty sure this was also in my favorites video last month and I don't care because I care about it that much. I posted um in my last two videos you guys have been like you're glowing you look so happy and yes I'm so happy life is good but I really think it has to do with this. My skin has never looked more like glowy and dewy and just like healthy. I mean, I think my skin is pretty good and healthy and like I've been drinking lots of water and doing the whole skincare bit, but I really think a lot of it has to do with this. This is from Sunday Riley at CEO Glow. They literally just sent it to me as part of like a PR thing. I didn't have to talk about it and I fell in love with it. Like I will repurchase unless they want to send me more, but I'm already, oh my God, I'm more than halfway through. This is very heartbreaking. Yeah, this is definitely something you're gonna go through fast. Um, basically, it's a vitamin C and turmeric face oil. It says with advanced vitamin C, turmeric and evening primrose oil to brighten, hydrate, and glow. So I love it. I use it in the morning and at night. Not always at night. Sometimes I'll do a different moisturizer at night, but every morning when I first wake up, I'll wash my face and put this on let it soak in and then I'll do my makeup like 10 minutes after or anytime after 10 minutes because I want it to kind of soak in because if you put your makeup on right after it'll kind of give this weird it, greasy look and we don't want to look like a peanut butter baby like no so I love this this is definitely my number one favorite it smells amazing it just it's so luxurious when you put it in your hands and on your face big fan Really didn't see this one coming. I'm not a big shorts girl in general, but especially jean shorts. I haven't worn jean shorts. I guess I do wear jean shorts in the summer. I just, if it's not the summer, I don't wear jean shorts. I've talked about this before. I don't, it's really hard for me to find jean shorts that are flattering because I have a bigger bottom and then also like bigger thighs with that. And that's something I'm personally a little bit self-conscious about. So I don't always love to wear shorts, but when I went on spring break, I really wanted a good pair of jean shorts that I felt comfortable in, even if I just wanted to wear the shorts with like my bikini top. They're just they're just so cute, and I love how they look on other people. So I found a pair that I love, and a lot of you guys asked about them because I posted a lot of Instagram pictures in them when I was on spring break. So make sure to follow me on Instagram, at Danielle Carolyn, simple as that. Um, but yeah, it's from the brand of Gold Day. I love the brand of Gold Day for jeans. I actually found out about them from my best friend, Caitlin. She was like, you need to try these. So I got them off of revolve and they look like this and they're a little bit longer I'll have the exact like style name down below because I'll just go to like my orders on revolve and see the exact one so you guys get the exact one but they're like kind of they're not they're they're definitely slim fitting they're not um, like mom jean fit by any means but they are a little bit longer they're high-waisted I love the distressed I love the wash it's like a medium kind of wash maybe a little bit on the lighter side but I seriously just wore these all the time and they just hit per like they go down enough where it's not like your butt cheeks are hanging out and like it just kind of covers the part of my thigh that I'm like kind of like self-conscious about if that makes sense so I don't know I just love them and they like button up that's the only thing it's kind of annoying you have to like continue to button them all up it's not like a zipper but it also kind of makes for a cool look if you, like it's like a look to like leave some unbuttoned I don't know it's not my vibe but you can totally do that so yeah 
These were amazing during spring break and I'm gonna be wearing them in summer. Tonight we have like a Wild West social, so I might wear these in like cowgirl boots if I'm feeling it. Another beauty product I've talked about before, but I just have to talk about it again, another kind of glowy product. This is the Hourglass Dim Light Ambient Lighting Powder. I absolutely love it. Ha! <laughs> It is, um, I'm gonna have to repurchase one, another one soon. This is my first one, so it's lasted a while. But basically, after I put on <coughs> my foundation or CC cream, concealer, I'll set my face in certain areas, like oily areas, with like a just a setting powder, like on my chin, T-zone area. And then I'll go in with this and put it all over my face, and it just makes your face look so glowy. I got this recommended from like Molly, Kenzie, and Brooke a while back, and I finally got it. It's seriously amazing. Dim light. Hourglass Ambient. I'll, I'll have it linked down below, but you you need it. Random, but I've been really enjoying this gum. This is Winter Mint by Five. I also love Polar Ice from Extra. Those are my two favorites. I really don't care. I just love mint gum. I just think I I just this is a brand new one because I just got a new pack. But I just love gum because <laughs> it sounds so weird. But like I'll keep it in my backpack nowadays because sometimes if I'm like this sounds weird, but if I'm just like if I'm not hungry but like I want to eat something, I'll just chew gum. I'm like, Danielle, you're not hungry. You don't need food. I just like, I'm bored or I just want to like chew on something. I know that sounds so weird, but I've talked to people about this. This is a thing. Gum. Simple. My last clothing favorite is this hoodie that I just got. I am obsessed with it. I was in between buying it or not because I just, it's starting to warm up. I was like, I don't need it, but I've worn it every day since I got it. So I'd say that's good. This is a big mustard um, hoodie from Champion. I just like this because I've never seen a Champion hoodie like this. It's not just got like the little thing on the on the corner. It says Champion, Champion, Champion. And I got this in the men's section. I got it in a men's medium at Urban Outfitters in downtown Athens. I will have it linked down below. I love it. I literally could have gotten a large, but they didn't have large. And the medium is fine. It's just an, it's big enough for me. I just love oversized stuff. I just think this is so cute and happy. It's like the perfect transition from like winter to spring. Um, Cause it is cold in the mornings. Like it was like 38 this morning and now it's probably like 65 out now and like really sunny. So I took it off on my walk back, but absolutely amazing. I love this so much. I love this new style. It's great. I also wanted a quick shout out my double piercing. What's up? I got a double piercing about two months ago now. Um, I've already had this one since I was six months old, so I was very, very nervous to get my second piercing just because I had, I basically had never gotten piercing because I don't remember I was six months old. So I was very nervous, but all my friends came with me, went to like this tattoo shop, and they were some pretty rough guys, so I was really nervous. And they, it was just funny, but they were really good. They knew exactly what they're doing. And I had this like silver stud, and I remember I was like, oh, you get, like I was just like not really happy with like having a silver stud for two months because I never wear silver. So I was so happy when I finally got to change it out. So this is the look I've dreamed of having. Just like two, so I got this mini gold hoop in a set from Urban Outfitters. And then this one is a earring from Etsy. I have it on both sides. But I just love the look of two little gold hoops. Um, after like, it's healing still I feel like so I don't want to switch it out all the time So I'm gonna keep this guy in for a while and then I want to do like two bigger hoops I just love the look of that um, Now I'm like addicted to piercings, but I probably won't get any more. Don't worry fam. Don't worry I don't know. I'm not much of like a tattoo and piercing person personally Like I love how they look but I'm just too scared to get on my own But now I'm like hmm, like cartilage But I just feel like I won't want a cartilage in a couple years just knowing myself and how often I change my mind But I just wanted to shout these guys out because I like them last but not least I always talk about music or something. I'm still listening to that Chill, Chill Tracks playlist on Spotify. I've been listening to the Ariana Grande album still just because it puts me in the best mood. I've been listening to a lot of Odessa and Louis the Child and not in preparations for Coachella because neither of them are at Coachella this year. I'm really sad. But just to get me in like the festival vibes mood puts me in a really good mood. But... I've been listening to country music. I've always liked country music. My family has always played it, my brother especially, and my dad would listen to it as well when he drives. Um, but there's a song called Georgia Time that when I went home for spring break, my brother took me out on the boat and played Georgia Time by Riley Green, and oh, it puts me in my feels. It is so good. I listen to it like once a day, and for some reason, for me, like I like country music if it's like sunny outside, if I'm by the lake, if I'm by the water, if I'm on the boat, if I'm driving with the windows down. It has to be a vibe, like if I'm at the pool. I'm not just gonna like sit and listen to country music at night in the winter. I don't know. Do you guys feel that? Because I just, I, it's got, a, it's a vibe for me. So I've been in that mood lately. Georgia Time by Riley Green. I just started a country playlist on my phone with like a few country songs I'm getting into right now. But I just had to shout out that song because I also go to school at University of Georgia, so it's just cute. And I don't know. 
And Corey Smith just came and performed at UGA for a spring party and he's coming again. And I didn't see him the first time, but I'm gonna go see him the next time because he does that song 21 and he talks about UGA and Clayton Street and so, yeah. Anyways, it is 1.15 and I have got to get going with the rest of my day. I have lots of errands to run, but I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I always love doing favorites videos. Again, I'll have everything linked down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.